super excited today because we just picked up a new camera and we picked up a new glass and I'm going to be showing it to you guys today. This right here, the Canon EOS M50 mirrorless camera. So we're gonna pop this open for you guys. Super excited, because this is an awesome camera, great starter, beginner, entry level mirrorless camera, and it starts at a very great price. Got our manuals here. So. Wow, okay, so just the body, very light, very durable, and all around the grip is super comfortable. Um, it's got the grip pad right there, and then it's got the grip pad obviously in the front. Very light and small camera too. And the best part, no LCD screen. I'm joking, it's got a full tilting LCD screen, comes out to the side, perfect for vloggers. Uh, and then you can also fold the screen in. What's nice about this screen is that you can tilt it the way it comes back into the camera and it won't damage that screen. So if you're transporting it, you're throwing it in your camera bag uh, or just throwing it in like your backpack or something, you won't have to worry about damaging that. Continue with unpackaging this. So this is our charger. Now I like this charger because it's got the built-in wall adapter. You don't have to worry about any extra cables connecting to it. Like the Canon G7X Mark II, it had an extra wire to connect to the battery charger to connect to the wall. Too many wires, too many accessories. So I like that this has a built-in wall adapter. So now obviously we got our neck strap. We probably won't be using that, but it's super handy to keep with you. Get that third point of contact if you're trying to do any stabilization. Uh, and the nice thing about this camera, it does have image stabilization, digital uh, built-in stabilization. We got our, next we have our LPE12 Canon battery. Like this one better than the G7X. Um, this is the thinness of the G7X battery. And this is the new Canon M50 battery. So, and also recording 1080p, apparently this only gets an hour and about 30 minutes of battery life as opposed to this that like gets about two and a half hours. Um, so I really like that about it. And at last we have our kit lens. So this is a 15 to 45 that the Canon M50 comes with. I've seen this lens a lot. It's a great lens. Um, I've seen a lot of videos and a lot of people talking about it and I've heard people talk about this lens and it is a very, very good lens. I know people like to stay away from kit lenses but I know I will be using this 18 to 45. I have seen it before and this is a super good lens for a kit. Crisp glass right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if it's in focus, but super crisp, nice quality. So what I'm mostly surprised about is a small opening um, to add a filter or to add a lens onto this. So this is a 49 mil opening. Now compared to something like this, my 55 to 200, Nikkor lens. This is a 52 mil opening, so I can easily screw on my 52 mil ND filter, and I have no problem. And the other Nikon kit lens that came with the D3200 was also a 52 mil, so I can interchange this ND filter. Now, this ND filter obviously won't fit on a 49 mil, and it doesn't stop there because this is the Canon EFM 22 mil prime lens that I bought for the M50. And this is only a 43 millimeter opening. So now I won't be able to put this ND filter on the 15 to 45 mil lens. I also won't be able to put it on the 22 mil lens. I already knew this before I bought the camera. So I hopped on Amazon and I bought some step up rings from KNF Concept, the same company that makes this ND filter. And it has a variety, I think of 11 step up rings. So I will be able to add the ND filter to this lens and I will also be able to add this ND filter to this lens without having to buy additional ND filters. So yeah, this is the kit lens, 15 to 45 mil. Now this is what I'm most excited about because I wanted to go with the nifty 50, 50 mil Canon lens and that would have required me to buy the adapter because this is a mirrorless camera. You can't attach any lens to it without that adapter. So if I wanted to 
by the 50 mil. They don't make it in the mirrorless uh, EFM edition, but I could have bought the regular Canon 50 mil and bought the M adapter and I could have threw it on there. But since this camera has a 1.6 times crop, that 50 mil would have became more of like an 80 mil. Uh, and I didn't want it too close to that. So I went with the 22 mil. I don't need an adapter for this. This is a pancake macro prime lens. Great camera lens with an f-stop of two. The ideal lens that I wanted was a 50 mil. But with this 1.6 times crop sensor on this M50, this 22 mil becomes more of like a 50 mil. It's giving me that ideal lens that I wanted. And you guys really have to pay attention to when it comes to a crop sensor because that 18 mil lens or that 11 mil lens, 50 mil lens doesn't necessarily mean it's a 50 mil lens. Uh, it is, sorry, it is a 50 mil lens, but that crop sensor is gonna affect it and it won't be a true 50 mil. So I got the 22 mil. This is gonna be about a 50 mil once it goes onto the camera. And so the kit lens, the 15 mil, is gonna be at around 30 mil, 40 mil, and the 45 mil is going to be at around 70 to 80. So this actually becomes about a 30 to 80 uh, mil lens, which is still good, which is still great. Now the only problem with this lens here is that it starts at like an f-stop of like three. So it's not gonna be real efficient at nighttime in low light circumstances, but it will do the job. So let's pop this 22 mil open. And if you want super crisp, clean quality from a lens, definitely go get yourself a prime lens. As you guys can see, little pancake lens, super small. Once we take the cover off, it gets even smaller. We'll throw this and there we go. This will have no problem being on the Joby Gorillapod, the 1K, super crisp, super small, lightweight, and that's how small it is. Now the thing that sold me on this camera was the 4K quality at 24 uh, FPS. You can't shoot more than that. It's only 24 FPS on 4K, uh, but it's still super good. It does crop in, so it doesn't make it ideal for vloggers when you're using 4K, but using it at 1080p, it, it, it works out great for vloggers. And the nice thing about this is that I wanted something for vlogging, but I also wanted something for photography. And this basically does it all. It has a flip out lens. You can vlog right there with it the lens is facing you. It also has the top piece. You can slip on a road mic. That's what I'll be doing with this one. And it ends up becoming a great mirrorless camera for vlogging and for photography. So the setup that I'm going for with my Amazon orders of some batteries, a new dead cap for my road mic and step up filters. Also with my road mic and the new lens is about 1600, give or take which is still great. You're still getting an awesome camera with some great equipment. If you really wanted to, you don't have to get any accessories. You don't have to get the road mic. You don't have to get anything and you can still be around that $1,000 mark. So I'm just gonna give you a little blurb about the specs of this camera. It shoots 4K at a frame rate of 24.98, which is awesome. You can only shoot 4K in that frame rate. It also shoots 1080p HD at a frame rate of 24.98 all the way up to 60. And if you really wanted to get that super slow motion, you can drop it down to 720p and go right up to 120 frames per second, which is awesome. It does suck, it is 2019, and nobody really likes shooting in 720, It's the quality is not there. But if you wanted to get that super slow motion, you can definitely go right up to 720. You can keep it at 1080, shoot at a frame rate of 60 frames per second and drop that down to 24.98 and get that slow motion. So if you guys like this video, please drop a like, drop a comment down below, tell me if this helped you or if this made your decision, if you were planning on buying the M50. Also, don't forget to click subscribe and click that bell button to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching, peace.